Now, it's no debate that an increasing amount of people are getting their media and news from YouTube these days, as we've seen a mass amount of the population basically shun away from watching TV, and they've now liked to have more of an interactive perspective with their media. Uh, now, people acclaim alternative media to be sort of the, uh, the place to find truth articles about certain topics, but... In every industry, there will always be some people that are trying to sell you something or they have some alternative motive that doesn't take your best interests into consideration. So I want to start off this video by defining the word permabull. So a permabull is someone who is always upbeat about the future direction of the markets and economy. Let's break down the word a bit. Perma meaning permanent and bull meaning someone who believes that the markets are destined to rise. A perma bull will spin any piece of news, good or bad, in a positive development. Now, relating this to the silver market, there are a lot of people on here that are basically perma bulls. They will always tell you stack as much physical silver as all uh, as you can at all times. Now the problem with this is people such as myself who have a limited amount of money that we've set aside to be put into investments such as gold and silver, uh, we just can't be buying all the time because uh, if I can basically wait, let's say two weeks or a month and get, uh, let's say like a $3 discount per ounce on, on my silver, uh, let's say I'm making a $2,000 order, I'm getting a significantly more amount of silver if I wait, let's say that month and the silver prices do drop. So my one intent on YouTube is to try to sort of spread some truth about this, uh, about this industry and basically spread the word that uh, you should never be permanently bullish in any market because markets move up and they move down. And with massive rises in the price over the past few years, uh, you know, a silver correction isn't something that's that too far, that's that far fetched uh, to think about. So permables, there are plenty of these on YouTube right now, and I'm basically going to reassure you guys that silver is going up in the long term basically just off of this one chart alone this is called this silver QE power chart so we have here QE1 I have some facts as well right here QE1 began in November 2008 and it ran until June 2010 and that was for a 56% increase. So we saw QE1, boom, ran all the way up to here. That was a 51% increase. Quite, quite um, impressive, if I might add. But something you can also see if you look at this chart closer is it didn't go up in a straight line. If you were buying on all of these significant dips right here, your cost average would be a lot, a lot better than if you were to just be consistently buying throughout the entire time. So something else that I've noticed is at the beginning of QE1, you've always seen this massive run up in price, like right here, right here, and then, you know, uh, an imminent correction. So you see this correction here. Now, something that's different about QE3 is everyone has been anticipating QE3 for a long time. As we can see, the markets ran up before QE3 happened, and right when it got announced, we started to see it starting to correct. So it's my guess that QE3 had already been priced into the market. Many people have... Uh, made their bets about silver going up before QE3 has happened and then now once it has happened and we haven't seen sort of this massive lift off in prices uh, I think we're gonna see a lot of people starting to take some profits on their gains and we could see a massive correction in the price to come back down to this trading channel here so I'll blow up what's going on right here. This massive trend channel here spans back almost a year's time. So this has been a pretty strong trend channel. As we can see, we hit 50, we came all the way down to this 32 level. We came back up 
to the 44 level and then we sold off again back down to the 26 level which was a perfect created a perfect um, parallel line with this one up here so that's how you can establish a trend is when there's two parallel lines that are of the same slope that basically have trading action in between them so you saw a major sell-off came back up to this point sold back off to here and then now we've just been correcting sideways ever since and then we've come to this part of the trend channel in anticipation of QE3, we broke through the trend channel, and then once QE3 got announced and nothing sort of happened, we've now been correcting. So, honestly, the next support line here is at 31.23, about, about that range right there. If we take out this 31.23 level, you can almost uh, be guaranteed that we're going to see sub $30 silver prices in the coming months. And we will see a rush back down to this level, this next support line at around 26.12. So if we see this correction that dips underneath this line right here, be uh, you know be cautious of a massive sell-off. So now I just want to end off the video with some facts. Of QE1 brought us up 56%, a 56% increase. QE Two showed us a 26% increase, so still something massive. And QE3 has just been announced during September of 2012. It's an open-ended uh, quantitative easing round, so we could be easing into the indefinite future. Who knows when it will stop? Uh, it will probably never, never stop, just because of all the interest created on all the previous debt that we have been incurring in the past few years. And now this is just something uh, I wanna bring to your attention about the past two and a half months. So between August 1st, 2012 and October 14th, 2012, we've gone up, we've had a 22% gain in the price of silver. So honestly, an investment that increases 22%, you can't even find anything that will give you a strong 22% gain per year, uh, never mind getting this type of gain in 2.5 months. So we know nothing can go up in a straight line. What goes up must come back down. And this is basically why I think we're going to see some gold and silver sale prices in the near future. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Leave a comment below and please like the video. Thanks, guys.